Hi there, welcome to this video covering the new updates and added features for Voxta. The Voxta team has been working hard on this one and there is plenty to explore. As a result, I won't be able to cover everything, but I'll focus on what I think are the key highlights of the updates and some of the exciting new features we've got to play with. Little reminder that I'm not a Voxta team member, so I'll likely make some mistakes along the way. If you are interested in learning more, be sure to join the Voxta Discord server and check out the update log on the Voxta portal for all the details. Well, no time to waste, let's start. Here is a quick overview of changes that may affect content you've created before. Stages have been deprecated and will automatically migrate to scenarios. Scenario scripts have been refactored, requiring updates to any previous scripts. The Catherine character and Voxta UI scenario have been upgraded, which will overwrite any custom edits you've made. Moving forward, let's start with the Voxta UI, which has been reworked, with sections reorganized into tabs for easier navigation across both characters and scenarios. A bunch of cool quality of life updates have been deployed. While in a chat, you can interrupt a character or make them continue with their last message. Your creator's name will automatically be added to a scenario or character you have created. Character searches now include tags and notes, making it easier to find what you are looking for. You can now use a listing label field on a character card to display a name different from the one used in chat. This is especially useful when managing multiple characters with the same name, for example. You can save your edits using the Ctrl S shortcut. That one was around before, but now works 100%. There is more to cover about the UI, but to make things more relevant, I'll merge the UI stuff with changes made to the Voxta server and desktop app. Let's start with the big one, packages. What you knew as stages have been replaced by packages designed to create a more direct connection between Voxta and external platforms like Vertomate or Voxy. Packages also provide an efficient way to group resources, bringing together characters, scenario, assets, and memory books in one place. Packages can then be shared as PNG, VXZ, or zip files. Keep in mind that once packaged together, these elements will also be deleted as a group, simplifying file management, yes, but also increasing the risk of losing important content. So remember to regularly back up your data folder or download it directly from Voxta for safekeeping. Next, we have a cool new chat flow called Storytelling. Aimed at a whole playstyle, this chat flow requires a narrator to accompany your character in a scenario. This narrator will describe emotions and storytelling elements, typically displayed in asterisks alongside the character's dialogue. This simplifies creating a traditional roleplay setting with a narrator and one or multiple characters, eliminating the need to rely on events to trigger the narrator. Now, for another crazy add-on, let me introduce the asset system. Those can be images or sounds attached to a character or a scenario and played while in a chat. Starting with images, these can be used to showcase changes in a character's emotion, action, position, closing, etc., dynamically updating as the chat progresses. Those images can either be static visuals or animated graphics. If you want to check out this feature, our dear Catherine, one of the built-in characters, has undergone an update with 30 different emotions. Just start a chat with her and see for yourself. If you want to go a step further and see how this works under the hood, go in edit mode in the Voxta UI scenario and don't forget to duplicate it before making any changes. Finally, if you want to make your own, you can simply create a script in a scenario and use the chat app trigger that will set avatar with the past to the image you have stored in your assets. Supported format for images are JPEG, PNG, APNG and WebP. A quick tip if you are planning on adding animated avatars to your characters. Remember that Voxta exports character cards in a JSON file format by default, and in a PNG file format when an avatar is present embedding metadata inside the PNG. As animated formats don't support embedding metadata, I would advise to stick to PNG avatars or use packages as the workarounds. As for sounds, it is now possible to play audio during a scenario. You can add background music or set the mood with ambient audio and even add sound effects, enhancing the experience with custom audio setup. 
supported formats for sounds are MP3 and WAV. Scenarios got a major upgrade with an exciting full rework. The Voxta team has added a classic roleplay scenario as a built-in reference to help you get started. There also soon will be a new scenarios channel on the Voxta Discord with templates and examples. One exciting new feature is the addition of buttons in events. There are plenty of use cases for this as buttons will allow to trigger elements during dialogue without using text or voice. This is a powerful tool for game-like setups or configuring settings at the start of a scenario, for example. Previously, when multiple events had their conditions met to be triggered, only one at a time could be executed. With the new Evaluate Next Events system, it is now possible to execute multiple events in a single turn. The count message condition allows to trigger an event after a set amount of messages. Now, that count only increments based on characters, narrator or user dialogues, not note instruction, secret or event. The bootstrap field lets you start a scenario with predefined dialogue. There now is a new option to end the bootstrap with prompting a user's response after the initial dialogue or skip character's dialogue entirely at the start of a new chat. Last but not least, the entire scripting system has been upgraded with a refactoring and a console allowing you to test your scenario's mechanic before starting a chat. In Scenarios, under the Script tab, you can now add multiple files, making management more streamlined and efficient. While in a chat, you can check how your scripts are working with the debug panel. For that, use the top right cogwheel to the right-hand panel and under the chat section, go to Inspect and find this feature at the bottom of the panel. It is also now possible to dynamically make the UI switch from the three available display modes, simple, avatar and full, while in a chat, using a script with the app event called Select View. We already talked about the option to display a specific avatar from the assets using the set avatar app event and the option to play a sound. Staying on the topic of scripts, you can now add an expired timer for flags, however, this is only available through scripting. Layers of actions are now stored in different tabs, making it much easier to navigate. That's all for scenarios, let's now move to characters, which have been updated benefiting from the new tab UI functionality. As mentioned earlier, Catherine has been updated with new visuals. You'll also find two built-in narrators, one male, one female, both available for integration in scenarios. These narrator characters may not be immediately visible as they are tagged scenario only on the character card. This option works similarly to favorites or tags, helping you hide or group characters for better organization. A new command slash summarize all allows to remove all messages to start a new conversation from scratch without having to restart a new chat. That's kind of an experimental feature, but it might get more attention from the Voxta team down the line. Let's talk about services now. For users who are using local services, you'll be happy to hear that support got updated for Xlama v2 and Cobalt CPP. Cocky users can now easily bundle custom voices with their corresponding characters for seamless sharing. The online service Novel AI now integrates the new text API and also supports the Erato model. When hunting for the perfect local LLM model, the benchmark tool in Voxta's advanced section lets you test and assess a model's efficiency and response quality. This section has seen a rework with prompt fixes and improvements with new tests for sarcasm and refusal. We are now done with the main stuff, here comes a little bonus. The Voxta documentation has been updated with all the changes for scenarios and scripts. However, not everything is up to date on this platform. Things change very fast with Voxta, so any energy put by the Voxta team in the Voxta documentation will likely be wasted, as as soon as a new release comes out, that info gets obsolete. So watch out for info and visuals that are not up to date. Also, the trained chat GPT model based on Voxta data is in the process of being updated too. And with that, I guess we are done. As I said before, I have not covered all of the new features, so if you want to check out everything, you can do so in the Voxta Discord server or in the Voxta portal. Also, Voxta just launched its Reddit platform, so feel free to join the Voxta family on Reddit, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned and take care.